Hello there, Libras. Welcome to your weekly reading. Um, while I was shuffling the cards, um, I feel like this is a, a really good week to balance out um, finances and to balance out to, to balance out energy. Okay, what exactly does that mean? I, I feel like when I was shuffling, the message was um, whatever is owed to you will be returned to you. Okay, so whatever is old to someone, I feel will be returned. So I feel like for some of you, if you have had to, you know, consult a financial financial institution to take out a loan, you're at a point where you're ready to pay it back. If you borrow money from a, a person because you hit a rough patch in your life, you're now at a point where you're ready to repay. Um, and so I feel like finances is looking really, really, really good for many of you. I have here the nine of coins. This is a self-employment card, and this is also flying over financial worries, okay? So for those of you who are self-employed, for example, there will be many clients. There will be many opportunities for you to um, reach your sales quota, for example, um, to also... If, for example, you've done like projects or contract work for a specific company or for a specific person, I feel like they're um, finally paying you. Okay, so if things have been stalled in the past, they're definitely they haven't forgotten about you. They're coming around with that commission check or that royalty check or that um, that payment. Okay, so things that were owed to you, they're going to be returned to you. And I also feel like physical things, if people have borrowed things, you know, for example, neighbor is borrowing a leaf blower, they're going to be returning that to you and they're going to, you know, attach a little gift card or a note or something like that. That's what I'm seeing uh, where, you know, they're, they're going to show their appreciation. I also feel like when finances are really good for you guys, you, you are going to share your generosity with other people. You're extending your generosity out towards people that have been there for you, that made it possible for you to reach a, a space of financial abundance. Make sure you don't go overboard, okay? So I see like huge financial windfall here, and then I feel like it could be you have the potential to squander it. Okay, so just make sure you're very careful when it comes to your spending and make sure that, you know, you understand as well that if it comes in fast, it can also leave our hands really fast. So save up for a rainy day. Okay, set some aside. Um, so that's what I'm feeling. I feel like, um, and this is a message I was getting for Aquarius as well. It's the same energy. I feel like there is a person in your life that is trying to reach out to you with a message of love, like an invitation or a message of love. What I have here is the Page of Cups. Um, they're trying to test the waters with you. They're trying to figure out how you feel about them. I feel like this is somebody you've been dealing with for quite some time. And I feel like you are conflicted about how you feel about them. I definitely feel like you are very attracted to them. They're sweet. They're a good person. They're very sweet. I also feel like you want a lot more from them than, than what you feel they're able to give, okay? So the way that this person sees you is that they see you kind of uh, shuttling, like shuffling around, um, very busy, they feel like life is very hectic for you and they also feel like you're not you know really out there enjoying your life it's, it's almost like you're very caught up with a lot of work and i also feel like you know they're the, the message is can i help you is there anything i can do to help you and so they're approaching you in a very practical way to show that they care but the way that you show or the way that you understand love and you understand the other person's love language I feel like you think that they only want to help because, you know, they're helpful. You think that they do this with everybody, but I, I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like they're trying to start some type of a conversation with you. They might not know how, and they might approach things in like, let me help you because I care about you, but they don't know how to say that. And so from your perspective, you feel like they don't really have a lot to give, but I feel like they're still testing the waters. They're still trying to gauge how you feel about them 
but you definitely want more than what you f want more out of that person than what you feel they're able to give you. So I feel like you want more. You want depth. You want a relationship. You want commitment. You want something solid and stable. And I feel like it could be had with this person if you are a little bit more patient and if you kind of um, allow yourself to, to open up to this person, okay? I also feel like there has been a, another person in your life where there has been a lot of um, issues when it comes to work, when it comes to, um, it, it's almost like uh, financial, financial situation interfering in the relationship between you and that person. I see a water sign, a, um, a Scorpio, a Pisces, and a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And there has been this merry-go-around. And I feel like, you know, finances, um, things like... One person might be very extravagant. The other person might be quite conservative with spending. And so there are definitely values differences between you and this person. And then I also feel like uh, one person might be employed. The other person might be constantly looking for work. So that also dampens the relationship. I feel like... To, the 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 wheels are turning okay for this person good or bad i feel like they're going to be at a point where things are going to smooth out for them and i feel a lot of it has to do with the fact that they're definitely taking more initiative um i feel like they might have been quite picky at one point where they're like i want that job if it's not that job then i don't want it and then now, after a few failed interviews, after a few, um, you know, uh, disappointments in the work front, they're a little bit more flexible about branching out, about, um, you know, seeking more opportunities or even applying for jobs that they never would have applied for in the past. So it, it's, it's like a, a big humbling experience for them where they are definitely trying to, um, and because they open themselves up for more opportunity, opportunities are going to be knocking at their doors. So I, I feel like they're at a point where financially they're going to be okay, things are smoothing out for them, and, and they're going to be fine. Um, I see you helping um, and, and giving this person a lot of advice, but I feel like they were stubborn and they didn't want to listen. So that's uh, with somebody that is a water sign specifically that you're dealing with. I also feel as well, if you have children with this person, if you have children with this person, it's always difficult, you know, co-parenting, um, especially around the holiday season. Um, it's especially if the two parents have different parenting styles too. So I see that being a challenge. I also feel as well the child wants this, the, the, the partner or the ex-partner doesn't want to give that to the child and the, the partner is like passing the buck, you know, why don't you ask your mom or why don't you ask your dad? So I see that element of like manipulation here regarding, you know, um, spending money on the kids or paying their child support or paying alimony, things like that. It's a very short, like a small energy, so I feel like it's annoying, but it's not going to ruin your day, okay? But I feel like this is like behavior that you've uh, already learned how to cope with from like an ex or somebody that you share children with. Um, I'm also sensing, once again, you know, it's a really good week, even though it might not feel like it while you're living through it. It is also a really, really week, good week as well to balance out all areas of your life. And I feel like you head into the week with a lot of optimism. And um, through dealing with other people, I feel like you're going to know who matters to you. And you're going to know, you know what you need to do. And you're going to be able to um, navigate, um, possibly... Um, learning how to deal with people that are difficult or being able to, um, you know, people who might be manipulative, they're setting traps for you, and you're going to be able to successfully navigate over that situation, okay? So I don't feel like people are going to be able to bring you down or people are going to do anything that is going to detract you from your goals. And I don't, especially don't see you 
being emotionally thrown off course by other people. So I feel like they're not going to have any bearing on you. So you're going to be able to sail right through it. Um, keep your eyes very, very focused. Okay, keep your intentions very focused. For those who are single, there is a person here that I feel, for whatever reason, you think that they are a player. For whatever reason, um, I feel like you might be judging them based on the way that they look, based on the way that they uh, interact with other people. But there isn't any proof or there isn't any rhyme or reason why that you would think that. So once again, there's somebody that's definitely interested in you. And I feel like you feel very unrattled or unsettled around this person. And you're also um, like, they're very much single and you're aware of that. And they're showing a lot of interest. Um, it's like they're boring holes through your forehead. Like they, they stare at you, they like you. And I feel like you're you're not really sure. It's it's almost like you don't trust it. It's almost like you don't trust it. You definitely have your eyes on them, so I feel like you're very attracted to them. But you're not really sure how to build a future together. They might be at a distance from you. I feel like there's somebody who's self-employed here, so you might be dealing with someone who's self-employed. And um, they interact with a lot of people, and so you might not trust that they are exclusively interested in you. Um, so I, I, I feel that element coming through. Um, give this person a chance for those who are single, because I feel like um, they're a really good person. They have a good heart. And I also feel as well, um, you're just not really sure. Um, there is a playful energy coming through with this person. And so you might feel like they are just more of a friend or they... Um, it's like you're not sure how they feel and you're not sure if their intentions are pure. Um, you have in your mind that they are a specific way, but the reality is they're not. So be more open-minded and, you know, give this a chance, okay? Because I feel like it can develop into something very, very stable and very fulfilling, I feel, for the both of you because there is really strong attraction. So I hope the reading is helpful. Uh, once again, I just have to explain, I'm sorry for doing your reading late. I'm in Northern California and uh, I've been breathing in a lot of um, just smoke and soot and things like that um, as a byproduct of the wildfires. So I've, I have not been feeling well. Um, I apologize for the delay. I hope the reading is still helpful for you guys and I'll be back in about um, in a few days time. Okay, take care.